inside should be brighter. It, it's it's close. It's enough. done, man. It's close enough. All right, ready? Red. My name is Josiah. I go by Maxima Bubble Mods online. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer, and uh, this is the spirit of motion. I started the build off uh, with the idea and with inspiration, originally knowing that I was gonna be building it for my dad, that uh, he was into hot rods. He's into sort of a, a similar interest in sort of art deco, architecture, and early automotive history, and sort of led down a path of combining those two with uh, themes from The Spirit of Motion, which is like a 1938 gram page, is uh, where I first pulled the automotive inspiration from, from that period. And then I Candy Apple Red, which is his favorite color from Hot Rods, that is. And that led to this. So the design of the exterior, I knew that I was gonna be making most of it out of aluminum just based on, I mean, wanting it to look as close to an actual grill as popular. and and making sure that it was manufacturable. Aluminum lets me do that. Um, so I started off by building the, the main frame, which is this, this red painted section here in the back and the sheet metal that goes underneath. So those are really what had to be the most sturdy because I knew I wanted it to also open like an actual hood. And uh, so those are all made from half inch thick plate aluminum. I CNC machines the side plates and there's two cross members down and welded those all together. So I essentially had a, a very rigid aluminum box that I could then hang the grill off of from its hinge and mount all the hardware internally. Um, another design choice I made was to, um, to sort of build off of the spirit of motion was that it, the design would be widening and coming forward. So at every one of these steps, uh, there's the complexity of, you know, angles, not only making a cube, but it's it's a widening cube. Um, so alignment of everything, um, the sheet metal even in the back uh, is all expanding and all the hardware obviously you want to be trued up. So everything has to be mounted with 3D printed adapters to sort of straighten all the hardware back up, you know, while mounting it. Um, a lot of complexity and just logistics in that original design. So I spent quite a lot of time sort of going through that pre-design, making sure everything was gonna work, make sense um, before, before starting work on it. Um, once I had the, the main frame of it finished up pretty much, um, that's when I started working on the grill itself. And the grill is, is another process. Um, we used uh, CNC water jetting, um, there's several ways we could have gone about it, but that's the way I, I figured it was sort of most cost effective given the budget of the build. Uh, water jet each one of the grills out individually because every one of them is actually a, a different dimension. So they were all cut out um, and then I had all of these essentially square stepped grills and the spine that runs down it. And once I had those all made, I had to hand file the front of every one of the grills to fit the spine correctly because I knew there were ways to make it easier where, where it would have been stepped and, and a little bit maybe, you know, clunkier looking. I wanted it to be very smooth and kind of organic in shape. I didn't want sharp angles or, you know, harsh lines on it in that sense. So there was a tremendous amount of hand shaping that happened after it was fit into the spine and welded down the spine. Um, with grinders and belt sanders um, to get the shape just right, to make sure that, you know, when light is rolling along it, that you're not getting distortion and weird reflections and that sort of thing. And I think it turned out really, really great. I'm happy with that. Um, I did also some thicker grills just to add some sort of asymmetry, some contrast. It was a little bit, uh, not stale, it's, it's, I like how it was, but um, just to add some sort of 
you know, dimension to that grill. And then the hood ornament was 3D printed, um, fill sanded, uh, and then painted to sort of look like the aluminum that is both brushed and then the spines polished. The top was 3D printed in, in three separate large chunks, just as big as I could fit on the, on the printer I have. And then with lots of sanding and um, Bondo and, you know, essentially bodywork, eventually was able to get that to join into one seamless piece that matched the painted sides, sides in color. Once this was, was finished, it really was simple as mounting it up, adjusting the hinge to make sure that it opens and closes. Um, yeah, I also wanted to, and in the original design, I was really ambitious and wanted a, an air spring. So essentially, um, like a more modern hood when you open it it would lift itself up and uh i did the you know calculations to find out what size that needs to be got it installed it had the brackets made you know put it all in and it worked but the pressure that it's constantly putting it to open it created just enough twist that it just didn't sit right i didn't like how it sat um it would have been fixed if i could have had you know two one on each side to balance it but I had already designed the motherboard to be on that side. It didn't work out. So changed how it opened to be <laughs> more of a, a standard hood, you know, with a, a pin essentially that locks in the back. But moving to the interior, uh, some of the design for keeping the, the theme of the Spirit of Motion with the automotive theme, hot rod theme, um, I did my best to sort of keep it sort of like an engine bay. So it's a satin black um, interior mostly. All of the wiring uh, had to be made by hand for this uh, because they're such short, short runs. The power supply is right in the bottom and essentially they just runs directly up to each component um, in the case. Really, that's a very small form factor build because it all fits in the frame of the body. Um, and then this is mostly for show and to house a grill to look like a grill and that sort of thing. So the grill, I, there was only a few pieces I knew that I wanted hardware wise that needed to be included. I wanted it to be flexible that, you know, it's a case for my dad. I wanted there to be room for growth and that sort of thing in the future for hardware. Um, I knew I wanted the biggest grill that would fit or the biggest radiator that would fit well within the grill. Um, so that was one of the only few components that I knew was integral that I knew I was going to design off of, um, and that sort of thing. Uh, there's a, 3D printed and designed radiator cap also on the top uh, of the radiator to just push the feeling that you're looking into an engine bay even further with a custom vinyl on the top, you know, saying caution hot, you know, don't open. And then hardware wise inside, uh, NVIDIA and EVGA sponsored the build. Uh, so I have uh, a 750 watt uh, G5 Gold Plus power supply from EVGA and NVIDIA sponsored with a, an RTX 2080. Uh, the power, um, the motherboard is a MSI B450 Pro M2, I think. There's uh, a couple different drives uh, as far as an NVMe, uh, Samsung, an SSD also that's Samsung that's a terabyte, and then an optic drive too that I needed to make fit. So I actually used uh, an ultra slim from a laptop uh, to keep again to, to fit in a tight spot and to make sure that that it wasn't going to impact the, the design or the appearance of the build, um, but I knew it was important important to my dad that that was included, so made sure that was. So for case lighting, uh, I wanted to keep the lighting down a little bit since since he you know he is an older guy, doesn't want real flashy. Uh, wanted to keep also bring a little bit more of the red in, um, so I really wanted to tune into that specifically. So up above, I have um, a Cooler Master uh, 140 millimeter RGB fan shining red light down into the main components of the build. Uh, and then the Corsair all in one, I also have set to be red. And with those four components, the actual cooler and the three fans, I get a lot of great, great interior lighting. And then of course, with all of the polished surfaces and aluminum, uh, the reflections are pretty great too. So the opening of it is is super easy. There's just a hinge right on the back that once it goes past center, holds holds that up. It can of course 
run completely open. It's easy to get to the inside if you do need to reach in and do something. Um, it's a small build, but I, it was important to me that, that it opened like a hood, that you could show it off almost like you're going to a car meet and you could leave it there. You can game with it open or, or whatever you're trying to flex on. So. So you can find me at uh, mostly on Instagram. I like Instagram at Maximum Bubble Mods, all one word. And I, I post a lot of um, more detailed uh, build logs on, on forums at like BitTech, Linus nice Tech Tips, or places like that too. The revealing. They said, wait a second. Okay, am I ready? Okay. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm gonna come in. Stop, right? I'm excited. All right, the revealing. After months and months. It has been a long time. And it's not quite finished. We're 98% finished. It's an ornament. Probably needs to be painted. It's not curing. And it probably needs a little more lights inside. It should be brighter. It, it's, it's close it's enough. Done, it's done, man. Close. All right, ready? Red. That is awesome. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at that. It's a radiator inside. I mean, this is what in the world? Here it is. That is nuts. Spirit of motion is the new. That one. is nuts. That is so, so far beyond. Holy mackerel! I mean, that is like every part of it is custom. I mean, the box, mm -hmm. the top, is is everything. Is there isn't anything. They let aluminum. I love this. Solid aluminum. Oh, so it's rigid this is stuff. solid aluminum. Yeah. Good. Bring it up. And that is that what this is too? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this, aluminum, this is what was. You did water this. Get cut you did out all this. And then you do all the shaping of it. Yeah. So it's all man, oh man. Square. The top is. Uh, did you do the welding? Mm -hmm. Wow, Saya. The top was 3D printed in three chunks. So we have Bondo and body work. And <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's so, funny. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Man, oh man, that doesn't even look like a computer at all. And then the back. Wow. The back, since this look is to show you in the front, the back has your... Oh, everything. The IO, everything. The disk drive like Everything. Goodness sake. Also, everything. Look at that. I mean, every hookup I needed. And... This is a working uh, exhaust duct <laughs> built into it. So is it really? Fan, there's a fan mounted right up in the top. It sure is. Look at that. It's going to pull cool air in, and, and, and then it exits out of the front of your radiator. Good grief, Saya. That is nuts. Oh, and even this shape. I mean, the. Even starting narrower and yep. coming up into yep. it, it's it is streamlined. That is so nice. That is nuts. I even made a little uh, radiator. <laughs> I love cap. this how it like locks in place. And... I know the yeah, radiator cap. How'd you do that? Well, I mean, it's just three D printed. Mold. Really? Three D printed and then cut vinyls that. MBM Man, maximum that thing on. is so quiet, and all those fans are working. It should be very quiet. I mean, it's crazy quiet. It's gonna sit on your desk. It's gonna be quiet. The phone is louder than that. Crazy. That is incredible. Well, that is so. Is that a fleck in it? Is that? Oh yeah. I was gonna say, look at that paint job. And candy apple and red. <laughs> That's the color. That, that is so way beyond. I mean, what a great design. The thing being open to. Wow. Thank you. You can have it. Thank you very much. Very, very much. This is. You can have it real soon. Way, way beyond.
Oh, I know. Got to do a little more spinning.